Elena, congrats on the win. It's been a tough match for you and a tough couple of weeks as well. Can you just talk us through how quickly you've had to move from Doha to Dubai and before that you were in Abu Dhabi as well? Well, it's not easy and I'm trying to do everything possible, taking day off, but of course it's not enough time, I would say, in between. Uh, and it's tough. I mean, for now, I was trying to to manage uh, the practices, maybe skip some and... Uh, Nothing really. I mean, I'm playing almost every day. It's it's been. I think in ten days I played nine matches or something like this. So uh, it was a lot. But uh, uh, happy that today it's not the way I wanted to to finish. But that it was two sets and maybe I have some time to recover for tomorrow. Well, it's not uh, first time you play kind of in a row. It's not easy, but I know that uh, that's the last tournament and then I will have some break in between. So I'm trying to push myself. Of course, it's not easy, as I said, but uh, it is what it is. It's a good problem to have to play so many matches. So I'm happy and just trying to keep on going. Shorter turnaround times also mean that difference in court conditions, how do you adjust and adapt to that? Some of the balls probably used are a bit different as well. So can you just talk us through those, those changes? Well, it's uh, it's strange because we have the same balls, and uh, but it's everywhere different, I would say. In Abu Dhabi, the balls were becoming very heavy and big, and uh, I would say it was uh, also a bit slower there. Uh, but I would say that... Uh, okay, in Doha it was humid also, so it was much slower. And Abu Dhabi and maybe here the similar stuff. It's maybe it's drier, and the ball is traveling through the air faster. And uh, I actually was here when they just did the course, so it was quite slow. And then after a few weeks of playing, maybe because also the sun is coming overnight and it's quite like slippery, mm -hmm. and uh, it slides the ball. So. It is, I would say, a big difference in all three tournaments, but uh, it is what it is. At least we keep the same balls, which is uh, healthy, I would say, but they all react different in the different uh, conditions. Well, I prefer, of course, faster course, uh, and uh, it helps for my serve because, for example, in uh, Doha, in Abu Dhabi, it's not easy to get free point, but here it is easier to get free point, but also easier to make mistakes. And compare maybe the previous matches, I will say that today it was much more unforced errors than previous matches. Of course, some tightness, soreness uh, here and there, but uh, I mean, mentally it's also not easy to fly uh, and start over again, start over again. So uh, I would say that it's uh, a bit of everything, but uh, it's the last one before some break. So I'm trying to push. Just on the back of what you mentioned over there about preseason training in Dubai, a lot of players do love to come down here and train. Is it a personal preference or is there a reason why Dubai is liked by a lot of athletes? Well, I actually really like Dubai and I'm here for four years in a row for sure during preseason, actually in this club. So everything is familiar for me and I'm staying a lot also in between the tournaments. After Australia, I was here, so I really like Dubai and I think it's a good place to, to practice and play, of course. I think it's just uh, good weather and uh, good location, especially going to Melbourne. And then uh, after Melbourne, we have also this swing. And of course, when we go to Europe, you cannot really come back. But uh, for the hardcore preparation, I think it's a great place.